Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I will show you how you can automate uh, CJ dropshipping orders. Now, this is going to be a very simple video. You can do this through CJ, uh, so you don't have to actually, uh, you know, do this through Shopify or anything else. So make sure to log in into your CJ right here. And obviously, if you're doing this for Shopify, make sure you also set up a CJ dropshipping app right here. So make sure to install this and make sure you connect uh, your Shopify store with a CJ dropshipping. After that, as you can see here, are the next step. So as you can see, you need to authorize the store. So this is what you're going to do right here. Uh, you need to authorize your store, sign in, go to my CJ, go to authorization, add a store. It could be a Shopify store, uh, you know, most likely will be a Shopify store. Um, but if you don't have a Shopify store, you'll need to go and click on eBay, WooCommerce, ShipStation or anything else. From there, uh, you will need to actually go in uh, the existing products in your store and CJ. You want to basically CJ to become your supplier. So you need to go to products, connections, and then add automatic connection to connect your products with CJ dropshipping. Now from there, products do not, uh, you, you also have products do not exist on CJ. If you didn't find the same product, you can post a sourcing request by clicking my CJ sourcing and post sourcing requests. However, this is, you know, for another tutorial. Then there are two sourcing types, uh, your store existing products and individual products by product links and images. So you need to select one type and submit a request. This is how it's going to look like right here, as you can see. Now, after that is done, uh, you also have products that do not exist in your store and CJ. If you want to add new products, uh, you know, from your CJ to your store, you need to click the list button on your product page. Now, the total dropshipping cost of the product is equal to the product price plus its shipping cost. So make sure to calculate that because that is needed. And then you need to check orders uh, imported from your store in my CJ and then orders. Then you can choose the orders to be fulfilled by CJ. And then, you know, please note that you need to click sync store orders. Uh, which is, as you can see right here, sync store orders right here, uh, you know, to sync orders from your store to CJ platform, during which you may import orders based on store names and times. So after that is done, uh, you know, after your customers made orders, all you need to do is add the order to the cart and pay. Uh, CJ team will do the rest for you. Now, if you have any questions regarding this, I know it's a longer process, uh, please comment down below. I can maybe create a new video uh, going step by step over it. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty much it. If you have also any questions, you can contact them, their support as well. If you have any technical questions, uh, but yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.